everybody can you believe it's december i feel like i was just saying can you believe it's december like a minute ago except for um the in between yikes we are here um i'm here to talk about create december which is one of my favorite topics i look forward to this challenge if it's even that it's just such a fun fun experience okay so here are the deets i started bullet journaling in 2016. um i don't recall what year i began doing mixed media through take five but i became a fast <laughs> fast fan of brie from documented journey um, and then in 2018, when she started doing this Create December um, challenge, I was just absolutely a fan. So we're going to um, look at my journal in 2018. Um, this was my third bullet journal. Um, I like to call it volume three. Let me just check, make sure we're in frame here. Um, so yeah, so I did the first one right in my bullet journal. We've got some washi, we've got a bit of um, journaling, which is not really my thing, which is why I think I chose to go that way. I had some Pinterest, some washi, some of my own doodles, of course, some pictures. I have a HP sprocket. Um, so yeah, so I followed along family cozy adventure with these little pictures um, a little bit of journaling uh, had so much fun like literally so much fun um, ending the year with this kind of you know like look back down memory lane like closing the year so nicely um, and then I knew that I would look back one day and absolutely love it this is a cutout from a magazine and then I just glued it there I thought that was so so different for me um, so this was 2018 that was the first time we we did it um, I say we because it's breeze challenge however I'm like I'm obsessed with it I am obsessed with it I'm obsessed with it and I look forward to it in the best possible way I look forward to it um, this is 2019 I'm in a stology notebook we're doing all the watercolor, all the stuff in here. <clears throat> um, don't know if I did that in in ballpoint pen. I don't think so. But anyways, um, I give Breeze um, a very unique style a chance every once in a while. But, I mean, her style is just simply beyond. It's, it's so unique to her, and it's so amazing. And I'm just such a big fan. <laughs> Um, this is my December page. This is not what we're here for. I think I just jumped right in. And in here, it was all a mixture of watercolor washes. We've got these little, like, crap that I stamped with the day and the number. And then we've just got a lot of stuff. Here's, like, a, a picture from that. Pictures, watercolor washes, picture, washi. You know what I mean? So this is obviously, then I like this thing where I got it really interactive. I saw Bree's video and her bits and pieces that come in and out. That's just so much fun. Um, lots of wash, you know what I mean? Like um, no journaling in this year whatsoever. Do you see this? I, I, and we've, we've seen these pages before. I've um, this is the last one would celebrate uh, and then we say goodbye to 2019 in 2020 I was in a Hobonichi cousin which funny enough I got from Brie um, I don't know if it was in an exchange or I bought it from her or something like that she wasn't using it and every time she's discarding something I'm like it comes with Brie magic let me have it um, I'm just a big fan, you know what I mean? And it comes with, it comes from a good home. Mistletoe, uh, see, again, me trying out Brie. This I do know for a fact that I tried it with her pen, um, which is the um, 
it's not her pendant. It's the pen that she most spoke about for a while. Bolograph. And you know those fans that buy things because they think that if they have the thing, it's going to make their art look like their... But we try. And it's a ballpoint pen. Love this little guy. The Abominable Snowman. Um, this is loose. This has words. I think the main point here was I was focusing on hand lettering this year. So some pages got done and some didn't. You know what? I showed up. That little elf is inspired by Brie. Um, hand lettering was the name of the game this year. These are by um, the Sticker Spectrum. This also, I can see the Brie influence here with the with the with the pen, but hand lettering. That was, and I can see. Look, you, can you see this? Like this is okay, but this is so much better. Practice makes progress. Practice makes progress. Just saying. Just saying. You know what I mean? Just saying. Also, sometimes the pen really does make a difference. <laughs> and this year we ended on the 25th with Santa. This was like an Annie sticker. Anyways, pages look a little plain, but you know what? We're not worried about that. So, following year, I went from A5 um, disc hybrid that I had made. I'm sure that if you're Longtime follower, you know what I'm talking about. If not, there's a playlist with all that stuff. Anyways, I found myself in 2021 in an A6. Believe it or not, I know this to be Bree's favorite size. However, I didn't jump into an A6 because of her. I jumped into it because of life. And so here I was. I've got my um, 2021, you know, words. This year, my little one was... My little one was participating in something. Um, this is a James Luke Burke follow. My little one was doing something with Charlie Brown. And she was really, really excited to be in Charlie Brown. So I made it my theme, Peppermint, Peppermint Patty. I'm so clever. Um, I made it a point to have Charlie Brown as my theme throughout Create December to go along with the themes, but also because I love James and he was putting all of those um, reels out. Uh, hello. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And then sometimes because I thought I love my abominable snowman so much, I'm just going to put a sticker here. My page is still waiting. But sticker spectrum represents um, we got texture because that's one of my favorites. Pictures. Look at me with a filter. So cute. Uh, I love how this one turned out. Completely different from the other one due to its size. Love this. Um, and then we end just around here. You know what I mean? Each day was represented by some kind of hand lettering, some kind of something, anything. Shut up. And then there's this one. Anyways, I stuck to A6 this year, but life was incredibly, incredibly different for us in 2022. A lot of personal, personal family stuff happened. All while, you know, me showing up every day <laughs> in stories and lives as we do. So, if you remember, in 2022, um, we did um, all of these, like, standard size uh, challenges through the months of February with New York City Planner Addicts. We did a wellness planner, then I did the 31 Days of Doodling. Um, for April, I started, like, a Jane Davenport, didn't succeed in finishing it, still had a great time. With Ju in June, um, Shanice and Amber, my two great friends, uh, hosted a hand lettering challenge that of course I was going to show up to, and this is from my book club, but it was in standard size because my book club knows that I love standard size. So um, when it came down to December, I've always been such a fan of 
Bree Stack, and you know, she's been in a standard junk journal for a while. Now, junk journaling isn't easy for me either. Um, it's outside of my comfort zone. Um, I watercolor in my journals, you know, and so to, to glue and add and do and do all that stuff, um, it just seemed like a lot, but here, I am nothing but a trier. So I got myself a little craft envelope from somewhere and um, a, the paper clip is from uh, the paper, uh, the paper house, paper house production, sorry. Um, and then here we go. I got myself a couple of magazines um, and I did some cutouts and I did some, you know, gluing and some taping and some writing. Uh, and then I had wanted a theme. So I reached out to Brie and I said, I had Charlie Brown that first, you know, the year before. And, and so she said, well, what if the theme is just you? You are the theme because funny enough, I was co-hosting this year. So um, it really did become about me. <laughs> um, and on the first couple of days, that seemed awesome. Um, here are my babies under the mistletoe. Um, I was just taking uh, pictures out of you know my phone and saving them for later. And this style of drawing my family and sharing those moments, had been so successful through the summer that I want to kind of like capture that. Um, there's our little Christmas tree. As of, here's some paper from, you know, I started getting a little, started getting a little slower, a little sloppy. I had paper here, I don't know what happened to it. My kid just, just like Brie, I got little ones, so whenever possible, I steal stuff from them too, or have to beg and plead. I got myself a magazine. I said that already. No. This is brand new. I just did this last week. Just last week. It was while watching Heather and Brie talk about Create December uh, during their second live that I realized, you know what? I got some time right now, and I've got some like energy, and I want to put it somewhere. And I don't necessarily want to start on this year, but let me get back into and Brie kept talking about how she hadn't finished hers either. Um, we both are no pressure kind of people. So when we co-hosted, she did as much as she could. I did as much as we could. We came together and we had a bunch of lives um, and we kept up with it. But we were both going through life. We're both moms and wives and, you know, like all the things. So no pressure. Just finished this one also. Um, I misspelt it. So I added the A at the I at the end. No worries. Um, I had been dying to draw it. And it's not perfect, but meh. meh. Um, and each page is completely different because... I just recently added that and a little bit of the white. I, I wanted to go in and fill in the white pages. <clears throat> this is from my child. Um, and then this is from a magazine, clearly. This, I want to say it's like from the doctor's office. Maybe not. Maybe she, maybe one, the little one clearly brought it home and then she just like threw it at me or gifted it to me. There's a, ticket stub which I love it's just like randomly there um these pages they're fine I'm fine with this this is a bit of wrapping paper and so the other day I just added uh, this hand lettering and this tidbit this tidbit didn't exist in December because it didn't snow in New York last year until March so this was a bit about our actual snowman um, this was a really cute picture. I don't know if it had anything to do with the prompt, but I just really thought it was cute. Uh, this was, oh, I had done like the text message that school was out, which was a give. <laughs> I thought it was a gift. No nutcracker, just the hand lettering. This is from a magazine, and then I had to like finish off the words on the other side. So that's, that's as crafty as I got. And then there's Bree's sticker. I love that guy. A bit more of that from my little one. 
another little drawing from the little one and my last drawing which the drawing was all there i just did a little bit of the red watercolor um and then there's brie with her with more little of her stickers so that was last year we don't worry about what our pages look like it is what it is let's talk about this year what are we doing this year this year, I am in a B6. We all know this because I've been talking about it a lot, you know. Um, the setup in here is, um, it's uh, it's different, you know. I've got some, I've got some blank. This is what it's going to look like, first views. This is December, plain and simple. These are my weeklies. And I am currently working through a tarot challenge, so I'm very much looking forward to that in here. I didn't feel like it was the right place for this. So, I didn't. I decided to do something else. And, just before I show you the clip of what I've done, I just want to shout out to Heather, because it's beginning of December and we're all looking for that word of the year and create December has never ended on the first of January before but I love the fact that it does and so last year was my first year manifesting magic this year using a field guide to finding and embodying your word of the year it was my first year using this book my word of the year came in so much clearer it felt so much more um intentional um is the word i'm looking for uh and i highlighted and um that's about all i did in here because i'm using it as a workbook instead what i did was i took this small little workbook that you can get on amazon i'll, I'll link it below um i grabbed one of those cellophane baggies and glued it to a composition notebook and then um, now I have an index. I've been, again, a lot of things happened in 2018. Clearly, I became a fan of all the things. So in 2018, I started um, choosing word of the year. And then last year was my first one with this book. I can't show you this because it's personal, but we are already in here. I pull it out. Thanksgiving weekend because you know it was a four-day weekend it feels like the right time you know Christmas stuff is kind of coming out decorations and such so I pull out this book so next let's get into some craftiness ready set bye welcome to my create December ephemera bag <laughs> I started collecting ephemera Last December, it got a little wild, but I managed to um, get it under control. I saved this folder, which I'm really happy for because now um, this is the cover. I just folded it up, made some measurements, made sure it's standard size. And next, I use this gift from Heather to write down all the prompts so I can um, move them and just like have them. I don't have a printer with me right now, so this is how I'm keeping track of my Listen, this is the final little pocket folder. Happy Create December!